most powerful things that I've learned through the 38,000 minutes of meditation that I have done. I'm going to share them with you. But first, before I do, I want you to know one thing. It doesn't matter what I tell you here because these things have to be experienced for oneself. So I encourage you to stop this video and go start and meditate. Start a meditation practice. It will only do you good. There's different kinds for different types of people. If you struggle with visualization, you can do breath meditations. If you struggle with that, you can do visualizations all over the place. If you have a mental disorder, consult your doctor first. I don't think there's anything wrong with meditation, but some people like to say there is. Anyway, let's get on with the video. The first thing is that your mind creates so many stories, you have no idea what peace can actually feel like. Peace in the mind, peace in your life. I'm making this video right now in hopes that you will resonate with this to an extent where you do take a meditation practice seriously. When I started to meditate, the first thing I started to notice was that my mind would actively be quieter. But even more importantly, when it would become active or overreactive, I would be able to be aware of that. I would actually stop in those moments and recognize that my mind was being overactive. This was really helpful when I was having arguments with people that I love because instead of reacting so quickly and getting even more angry, I would recognize that reaction, be able to calm it down a little, and maybe even say, hey, let's take a second and let these chemicals like cortisol that are running through our bodies die off a little bit. The second thing was when I started applying the Dhamma. That's what I teach here on this page, as well as on my TikTok. Um, the Dhamma are the teachings of the Buddha or the Buddha. But what you find is that the Dhamma is really just the laws of nature. So these are things like everything is impermanent. When you start to apply that understanding in your meditation practice, a few things happen. The first is that your life, <laughs> you become so much more present because you know that each thing is going to change. In every moment, these things are changing. Secondly, you stop holding on to so many things Remember all those stories I told you about earlier? What's really funny is we create the stories and then we grasp onto them. And then we hold onto them so tightly and we try and try and try not to let go when in fact they're A, not true, and B, going to change anyway. So understanding the Dhamma and applying it to your meditation practice is huge because what ends up happening is you end up progressing so much more than if you were to just meditate by yourself and try to figure it out on your own. thing I learned is to be more forgiving of myself. When our mind starts to create these stories, we often put ourselves down. We often tell ourselves we're not worth it or that we're not acting in an appropriate manner. And while that may be true as far as not acting in an appropriate or wholesome manner, that doesn't mean we're not worth it. That doesn't mean that we can't be better. That doesn't mean that we're not just human. So when we're able to eradicate the stories that we tell ourselves, when we're able to be forgiving and just be real with ourselves, the mindfulness practice helps with this and we're able to move forward and progress and even be more of a better person the next day. Because getting down on yourself for not being a good person is only going to push you further into not progressing. Hope this video was helpful. If you guys like the things I'm talking about, I have a Discord server where you can join and we talk about these things on there. I also have a guided meditation in the Discord server as well. Um, go ahead, check the link in the bio. It's free to sign up. May you be well, may you be free of suffering.